Hey everyone, Great Tello back again. Welcome back to more Prey. Good afternoon, Talos. In the event of a loss of atmosphere, gravity, or other serious emergency, please report to the nearest muster station. I swear I turned that off. Oh well. No big deal. So, uh, we're going into deep storage today. Or rather, we're going to try to. Voice identification required. Please repeat the following words. Harmonica. Chasm. Laconic. Pencil. You won't get into deep storage without Danielle Show's voice. Strange. She's not showing up on any roster system. Look around. Maybe she made contact with some of the other crew. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of disappointing that you can't go directly in there. Golly, dude, you got wrecked. Look like awful. Ivy, what is it? How's it coming? I, I can't get this damn thing open. Where's Danielle? Still not answering. What's wrong? Danielle tied the lock to her voice. We need her to speak the key phrase or we're not getting in here. Would voice samples work? Transcribe recordings? Yes, if they have the right words. Or if we gathered enough to map her voice to a consonant and vowel list and started running patterns. I'll see if I can find her. Or her transcribe. I'll check her room first. All right, Ivy, but look, don't do anything stupid, okay? Ivy? Ivy? Shit. Damn it, Danielle, where are you? So that is what we're gonna do. It's unlikely Chief Show is still alive. I advise you follow Zachary West's strategy. Pack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made my voice. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. Yeah, thank you for that. So this opens up another, uh airlock we will be taking a whole episode or maybe two to get some stuff done outside uh, simply because the side quests do offer some good loot but not right now and this is why I didn't want to go into the uh, crew quarters right away because we needed to go down there and get that key card anyway and before we came over here. For there to be two phantoms, figured, hey, there's one here. Last time there was a Voltaic phantom, but, oh well. Scan complete. New psionic aptitude available. There you are. What do we have? You lock him down with side shock. That's always fun. Oh boy. I wouldn't worry too much about leaving stuff here. There is a recycler down on the next level. That will be tremendously useful. Ah. Hello, nice to see you. Here you go. Hell of a moment to run out of glue. Okay, 
Hello. So let's take Are care of an appointment. Come here. Diagnosing. Looks like you've had a rough day. I'll have you feeling better still. There. All better. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. The operators are so buggy. Eh. Oh well. So we can hack into this. Uh, not really sure if I want to do that. Probably come back to that later. Leave that there. Leave that there as well. We can't get the key card down in the habitation pods. Or crew corners. I don't know why I call them habitation pods. I do apologize. All right, so there are quite a few mind-controlled humans in this part of the game. You, I see you. Another puppet. Looking for me with blood eggs behind your eyes. Come closer. Yes, a little closer. And of course we have a crazy chef to deal with. Stupid puppets. What? You too? You want to come into a kitchen? Good. Come. Take care of this real quick. We don't really need all that much alcohol. Uh, we've already got like eight of these things, the sparkling wine, I guess. So we'll put the rest in here to get some additional yield. Another weapon upgrade kit and some more materials. Let's go drop off this wrench real quick. I do apologize for those two cuts in a row. I am having a bit of an allergy issue, as well as a mimic issue. You can't fool me, jerk. Where did his bits go? <sighs> Man, they must be disappearing too. 
So the thing I'm really interested in is this golden gun down here. The golden gun is super useful. It's just the upgrade to your regular gun. Can you get me? Can you? And it does provide a quite a substantial burst in damage. First thing we're gonna do though, because there are my control team is there, they're a bitch to deal with. Is so we're gonna come over here to the cafeteria and we're gonna take care of the telepath. Keep sending and sending. When will you stop? Stop! Can't think with all the puppet bombs. Now this is a pretty, pretty tough section here. Simply put, uh, if you don't want to kill anyone, you're going to need to whip this out, and you're going to have to shock them. In fact, let's upgrade this, make sure our range is maxed out. Perfectly acceptable. But uh, yeah, there is a telepath in here, right there. Stupid beast! You think you can kill me with them? Let's go ahead and knock this guy. Whoever out. you are, run! There is no more fool here except you. If you are still a hold of your brain, good. Are they here? Or not? Shoot first before they get close. The puppets. Bombs! Their master is close. Kill beast or puppets or both. But do it before they kill you. When no more puppets, maybe we talk. Alright, get closer. This is good. I want him to come around the corner and I'm gonna dump a bunch of rounds into Alright, so they should all be cleared out by now, which means we can kill this son bitch. Come here, dude. No. 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 I uh, there's one more in here. Puppets. Now you join them. You come to kitchen window. Let me see you. yourself. Ah. If you want to come in, be safe. You go. Get something of mine, huh? Here, key. It opens my room. Go there. Get my award. It's important to me. Then, maybe we talk. 
Yeah, you don't seem fishy at all. Alright, well, since these guys are unconscious now, you can't, you know, pick their stuff. No sense of being noble about it. Also want to check over here to make sure there's no, not any, uh, ugh. Yeah, he's clipping a little. Thought his head had been completely chopped off. Make sure there's nothing good that you want to pick up. Just got them. That's good. Pretty sure I got him, yeah. Why are there still... <laughs> Goodness. Well, I guess I didn't take care of all of them. That's unfortunate. But also, okay. No! No! Go to sleep. All the shotgun shells. Not as many as you'd hope, but still plenty. Yet another medkit fabrication plan. And now we're heading. Don't worry about power flickering. Station is just hurting. Keep going.
The Golden Gun. The Golden Gun. Sorry. This thing is pretty great. If we go and we compare it, this thing does 13 damage base. Upgraded, this thing does 11 damage. The regular pistol. It sucks. So we're just gonna put all of our effort into upgrading this now. Probably all the upgrading we're gonna do for now. Again, it's most of the damage you get comes from criticals and sneak attacks and things like that. at all. Full up again. Alright, I guess I'll make a run over to the recycler. See you back. See you in a bit. Okay game, I'll get this side. One of those side needles and juice myself up a little. Probably a good time to go over those chipsets. Not particularly useful. I already have this, so I'm just getting this to be thorough. Pretty sure we've read this one before. What the hell did you do to that thing, Mitchell? Sounds like an anti-waffle commercial. Well, I didn't see it as an override per se. But it was just the operator's conversation sequencer. They're usually so grim. <sighs> Do you know how many security protocols you broke? Well, Morgan said it was all right. Even helped me. I'm Operator Skillet in this show. Live, you sound like you could use a healthy dose of sunburst banana pudding. <clears throat> this is an A-B conversation, Skillet. Apologies, Chef. I'll see my way out. Ha ha ha. That's funny. <laughs>
do apologize if I haven't been talking a whole lot. Simply put, I'm having some real bad allergies if you can't tell. And it does affect my voice. required. So, poltergeists are invisible and completely not threatened. Absolutely not. As you can see, I'm just punching this guy. That's all I'm doing. What the poltergeist does is that it picks you up or picks other objects up and just chucks them at you. And that does some damage. Wow. Somebody really took beer with them to the restroom. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a problem. One thing, the one thing I want to get taken care of before we go over there. There's a body down there I need to loot. Is uh, first you want to say hi to this guy. Scan complete. Get his. No psionic aptitude available. Thank you, computer. Get his input on life. Looks kind of lonely. Heal ourselves. And then we're going to go into both Alex's room and our room. you. Dislikes Alex more. Need to find out why. Note to self. Research. Chef Mitchell and emotive operator hack. Dio Igwe. One of Alex's hires. Cheap to recruit due to his unpopular stance on psychic phenomena. One of the station's best scientists. Introvert. Knows about tests. Wild Alex. Believes your brother and Typhon can save his career. Michaela Ilyushin, chief engineer, not on speaking terms. Had brief relationship. You ended it when tests began. She believes it is because you discovered her medical condition, paraplexus. Convenient, but false. Severing ties seemed prudent to you. Less painful, given the impending memory loss. Paraplexus, nerve disorder. 
prevents use of neuromods, requires aggressive drug therapy to prevent degeneration, renders candidates ineligible for assignment to Talos 1. Sarah Elazar, Chief of Security, not a friend, knows about the Typhon, not about your tests, but suspects. Is trustworthy, but doesn't trust Alex. Or you, yet. Yeah. Well, I dare say we've met everyone except for Michaela and Nikwe, and Paraplexus. This is a nice little apartment, or office. It's not an apartment. Is it our apartment? Yeah, it's our apartment because we were we started in the simulation apartment. Don't believe there's anything up here. Yeah. And nothing in the oh, okay, thanks to the nightstands. Nice. Check out Alex's room. There's a phantom creeping. Sick of your shit. Warning, suit integrity damaged. to eat this actually. Now we did come in here because uh, past self, or one version of our past self, told us that he hid a uh, key to get up into the escape pods. They hid it somewhere on the stand. It's not this, this is that picture we saw earlier. I suppose we should put that down. So let's check over here. Hey, there it is.
You still there, buddy? We won't talk to him yet. There's something else I want to do. Specifically, I want to check this out. This is the recreation center. Teleconferencing. Specimens required. Huh. Uh. Yeah, poultry guys. They are not at all menacing. They're just really not. It's a shame because as far as enemies go, hold up. As far as enemies go, being able to be invisible and just chuck stuff at people it sounds like a pretty intimidating enemy type. But the poltergeists are just so bleh. They don't do anything. They just walk around. Of course, you can beat them slowly with a wrench. And as long as you've got the appropriate chipset installed, you can see them no sweat. Yeah. Fairly disappointing enemy. But not everyone can be a winner. And here lies one of the best things to ever grace mankind. Dungeons and Dragons in space. fully support this in every way, shape, and form. Dungeons and Dragons in space should be a thing. It is a thing in the world, but I just think it's hilarious. All right, uh, Elias has... Stab fellow! Stab fellow has vanished into <laughs> the darkness beyond the tower door. The only sign of him is his blood trail. But as you watch, the flagstones seem to drink in the blood. The cracks glistening red. Oh, Jesus Christ on a stick, Abigail. Don't be such a baby. We either head through the door... Oh, forget that, it just ate our warrior. Unless you can handle the entire pack of rat men, oh spellless wonder, we don't have much choice. Elias? Sorry. Stabfellow? Captain Stabfellow! Can I answer her? Hell no! You hear nothing from the darkness. It has swallowed Stabfellow completely. All right, let me light a torch. Hey, guys, sorry I'm late. Station-wide OS upgrade. Had to hold Bellamy's hand through the whole process. Abby, do you have my character sheet? You made it. Yes, right here. And that is how Dungeons and Dragons should be played. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I'm an avid player myself of Dungeons and Dragons. I, I actually really enjoy the game. And I love those kind of references. They're very, very fun. Especially Captain Stabfellow. He's so cool.
holes they came from. Okay, game. What the heck? There we go. Sorry about that. Game was giving us a bit of a problem. Scan complete. More specimens required. So this is part of gathering uh, Captain Cho's or Daniel Cho's information. And I don't believe we have to play both, but I'm going to play both anyway. Welcome, everyone. We've made an amazing achievement. As of 12 hours ago, we have broken the 8,000 Neuromod mark. 8,000 Neuromods. Sharing skills, abilities, improving the quality of life. And you are to be congratulated. You are the ones who made this all possible. And congratulations to my dear brother, Morgan, who has left for Earthside to assist in marketing efforts with the Transtar Board of Directors. So, let us toast to Transtar, to the Neuromod, and the future. But what is success if it can't be shared? Let me introduce a few of our employees, none of which had any musical talents until yesterday, except Chief Sho, who I'm told has a lovely singing voice. Sky, Danielle, whenever you ladies are ready. All right, so just go ahead and check this out.
Is that guy? Let's not put the upgraded one into the recycler this time. One last bit with a the theater. That's wonderful. They just happened to home in on me. Absolutely great. Take his stuff. Okay, so now let's head into the crew quarters over here and the fitness center. Uh, yeah, I think we can fit these two in. Pretty sure we can fit these two in. the same situation but there's a telepath in here and it's making our life kind of hard So we're going to try to get as close to this guy as we possibly can. Go the other way. Now let's kill. Come back, you fat bastard.
Eh, they don't have anything good in them. On them, I should say. I'm gonna take care of this just because it's annoying. We are gonna come back to this place in a little bit. Warning, suit integrity damaged. Let's go upstairs. It's like a full MMA gym up here. We got dumbbells, boxing bags, or heavy bags as they're called. Fabrication plan for the bolt caster. Executive suite key code. You can get this in like three places in here. Treasure. That's something else that I really enjoy about this game. Uh, I think I've said it before, but the sheer fact that these that they attempt to write the uh, characters and crew members as, you know, normal people with normal hobbies outside of work, I think is really brilliant. Of course, we're running well on shotgun shell, so after I finish this up, I'll probably be cutting the video. It's getting long as is. Land on the floor. Oh, I don't have this yet. Okay. Need to come back for that. Don't care. Danielle? Had a meeting with the great Alex Yu today. He gave me one of his bullshit I'm sorry's with no resolution. Between him and Morgan, it's like a tradition. The Yu family sorry. Was it as insincere as a Danielle show apology? No. Danielle, I'm not saying working with him is easy, but... Did you just compare me to him? To that arrogant sack of shit? Danielle, this has to stop. You're right. Get out. We're done. Danielle! I said get out.
What are you doing? Are you recording this? Joint transcripts are fun. They are not. It's like mental scrapbooking. You both save the moments that matter. Dear future us, today, future us, we are not calling. That should be enough to synthesize Danielle's voice. Enough to spoof the lock on deep storage anyway. Also, I've been monitoring noetic field signatures around the station when I can. With humans, the signal barely registers. The Typhon make a strong ripple by comparison. But with the Coral, my instrument readings are erratic. I'm not sure what it means. The sooner we get your arming key, the better. Dear future us, today, future us, we are not calling ourselves that. Today, I was able to convince my beautiful but stubborn partner to stubborn <laughs> to stay in bed and not report for an extra shift. And this is the reward I get. Very nice. So if you uh, didn't notice, we have actually completed our quest to get, you know, enough... Did I miss that? Yeah, I did. Enough information to uh, spoof the lock as Asshat said, I forget his name, but our probationary best friend. Never. I have never removed a neuromod, uh, and yet, today, I could not find my way to the hardware labs. I wandered the arboretum for an, an hour. I made some excuse, but I know Miyu suspects. I cannot keep making toys for Transtar when... Uh, I told Alex what I want to try. He gave me a device to help. Parapsychological contraption. Morgan made it. Some of the components are beyond me. The same dream again. There is something wrong with this station. Something here with us, but I am hallucinating now. There, uh, there, there is no question. I, I tried to open the locker, but I. I could not remember our anniversary, and for a moment, even her name escaped me. Her name! If one day I wake up and cannot even remember the work I am doing, I must give it all to Morgan. He will know what to do with it. First test, anterior electrodes overheated uh, after six seconds. But I swear, there was a moment... I saw her again, the day we met on the Costa Amalfi, her lemon sundress, my Clorinda. That is unfortunate. Sounds like Dr. Calvino's. I didn't even know this was there. <laughs> Sounds like Dr. Galvino has a bad case. Of Alzheimer's. That really sucks. But I think I've dragged this out for quite a bit. Um, I'm going to cut the episode here and then we'll get back into it. I'll discuss everything we've been doing or I had done in this episode. Simply put, I'm just not talking because of my allergies. I do apologize and... I hope it will be cleared up for next time. See you then.